Well, I've just come back to another little tenant's dream. It's a um, pretty dull overcast afternoon. I was going to head to another one of the bigger rivers this morning, but it was full sun this morning when I got up and southeasterly wind swinging around to the north, and I thought, oh, bugger that. So I wasn't going anywhere, and then later on, as the day went on, the cloud come in, the winds dropped off to nothing. So I thought, oh, I'll just go and fish a town of water, and then conditions are supposed to be like this tomorrow morning, so I'll head off to a um, a bigger river tomorrow morning. I'll set off early, hopefully hit the river by about 6, 6.30. And there we go, took the third cast, straight up into that river bank there. Until Brown's come out and grab the um, copper aglia mooch noir. Well, it's not actually a mooch noir anymore because <laughs> the little red tag's gone off the bottom, so I've just left it on there. It's like a plain aglia, copper aglia. So, yeah, I just sort of cast up there by that bank, and then this bow wave come up behind it, and this little tacker come out, grab it. Absolutely magical, beautiful red spots on the side of him. Yeah, there's the red spots on that little tacker. Certainly stand out. Anyway, he's gone. So, yeah, it's a good start. Let's hope it keeps up. The, um, still a reasonable amount of water in this, in this little um, tennis stream, mainly because we had had rain about four days ago. And I thought it still would have dropped off pretty low, but it's good, really good. Just missed a solid fish here. Hooked it, and I, um, I don't know, just bring the lure straight down downstream. There's a little. Uh, bubble line just on the water there you can see that bubble line there coming in uh, up from that behind that tea tree and um, I just cast up to that tea tree and just draw a lure back bring it straight downstream I, I saw it come up behind I just grabbed it but yeah mistaking the trebles so um, it's been a bit dead since that first catching that first little trout so early I've had a hit and a miss from another one, and then that one there then. So, but they're here, but they're few and far between. Well, I've tried every MEP, MEP spinner so far today, and I've only got that one trout early on the copper, copper aglia fury, uh, it's just plain aglia, sorry, on that small one, and I've been right up through here, and some beautiful water up through there. Trout have been there, they've been, they've been following, they've been hitting the back of it, they're not taking it, so I may, um, the water's getting pretty so shallow, I may have to put a, a floating hard body on and just give that a try. See how we go with that. Oh. After nearly two hours, I just had, uh, I, went, I went and put a little Rapala rainbow on, a floater. I just cast up into that shallow water, headwater there. And uh, yeah, Brown turned around, come up and absolutely smashed it. And the thing is, he took me down into this, you know, it's all this green, green weed here, and there's a few sticks and stuff. Uh, a couple of head shakes in it amongst that, and tossed the lure. So I'm still just on one trout, but it's a nice big deep stretch up further here. Hopefully, I'll um, get my second one there. It's now um, nearly 10 to 5. So yes, yeah, so it's been two hours. Caught the first fish in, on about the second or third cast of the morning, of the afternoon, and yeah, ten to five. It's been well over well over two hours since the last fish, since that first one. Right, well we're back on the Leven River. Same stretch of water I fished last time I was here. There's no um, howling gale today, but we, the water level has dropped probably by about, I don't know, five inches, I reckon. It's a beautiful morning. So, um, yeah, let's hope we can pick up a few. I thought I'd come back here and give it another try for the, when I checked the, the um, water levels had dropped by about five inches. I thought it was worth coming back here and. Uh, no southeasterly winds, though. Southerly breeze supposed to come up to about six knots this morning, blowing to 18 as the day goes on. So we'll see how we go. Right, oh, we've just got our first trout in the morning. <clears throat> it's on a, a lure called a rainbow. It's a friend, uh, Point of Lure Project, sent me to test for him. <clears throat> and 
had about five casts with it. It's only just hooked in the jaw like this fish. He's a lovely brown. About, um, yeah, he'd be close on 500, 500 gram fish. Beautiful. So uh, that's one lure that worked beautifully for him. Right, that trout's gone back. It, um, it was taking him a long cast over to where that log is on the opposite river bank. And he took it about halfway across, I reckon. So it's, uh, yeah, so it's good to see this, uh, this lure worked okay. It's, uh, that's all it is. It's a nice little mid-water diver. About four grams. It's called the rainbow. Yeah, nice little lure. I'm casting in around this uh, pretty snaggy area here. I just had a hit and a miss. Um, light, light bump, but I've got to be careful. It's the only rainbow lure I've got of his, and I don't want to I don't want to hook up here and snag it and lose out in the middle of this. It's a very deep stretch of water out there. So, um, yeah, but it's good. At least you've got one on the board. And hopefully you may get a few more on the ship before I get up into the shallow fast water runs. Well, the fish right up through here, there's no sign of a fish. I've gone to an ugly fluoro now in this shallow fast water runs. I uh, did a water temp check, the water temp, I was wrong, my legs are getting cold, water temp's only 5 degrees here. Bit of cloud moving in now too. <coughs> um, Going to make it interesting. It's been 17 degrees here today, but tell you what, it's pretty cold this morning. Driving in fog and there's a bit of ice on the ground in a few places. I will push on. It's a beautiful morning to be on a river. Couldn't ask for anything better than what it is today. It's a nice um, backwater run I'll be giving a go later. I just had a little fish in this first part. I'll go back in the main stream again now and then I'll cut back into this up further. Because uh, that's why I picked up the three trout uh, from four hookups here last time. I got three trout in um, 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever I was, I can't remember now. But yeah, so we'll get back in the main stream now and have a crack. Crack back in there. I'll right, we'll move another spot further downstream now. I've um, only got the one trout in the other part there. And, uh, had a follow a bit later on. Had a little hit and a miss, and that was it. And, yeah, it's very dead today. In that backwater, didn't give up anything. And uh, so I'm fishing up here. The wind's come up now, it's come straight down the river in my face. So it's come up early in the forecast. I'm just going to fish up here a bit further. past 11, so I was in the river at 10 past 8, so I've had a, a couple of follows here, but yeah, they're just not, they're just not taken, they come right up behind the lure, and they do a run. Uh, day's finished, wind sort of dropped off again now, I just hooked and uh, lost two more of trout, plus had a couple of hit and misses using the cast and drift all up through here. And, uh, but they're not really, there's no real hard aggression in it. They're just coming up and just having little um, light grabs at it, bang bang. Yeah, then uh, no real hard aggression attacks with them. So, yeah, not very good. Well, right, we're back at the car, it's five past twelve. Pretty average day, just the one fish landed, and that was, that was in the early part of the session, put in the first. 20 minutes or half hour, I had that, that trout that was half hour. It wasn't any longer than that, and I had that one trout. Um, had plenty of follows after that, a um, few hit and misses, and then, um, yeah, hook, hook one, lost it, then fished the lower part here below Master's Bridge, and um, had four hits here for two hookups, and lost both them. And uh, yeah, so the day's over and done with. Very average day, but still nice being in the river. The trout are there, it's just a matter of getting a day when they're going to turn on and really be aggressive. That wind came up and uh, had a shower of rain and yeah, but it's, it's been good. Good exercise and uh, one fish. One's always better than none, isn't it? So until next time, tight lines.